There's a guy on YouTube right now who's making EDP's life a living hell. Uh, his name is Matt Simon. Check out his channel. I'll put the video in the description box below. You can go check it out. Pretty good videos. So this guy uh, is, in one video, he went to the gun range where I guess EDP goes to shoot guns. And he gave them flyers. And the guys were like, oh yeah, we know who EDP is. <laughs> And in his last video, he goes to the the apartment complex where he lives, and he goes to the uh, the uh, leasing office, and he throws down the the flyers of of uh, his name and all that shit and what he's done, and then they all like walk away from him. Now, I just want to say, first of all, they might have walked away from him because he does look scary because he is one of those tattoo face scary people. Now, I don't know why he would get a tattoo under his eye. That's his business, uh, none of mine. But, uh, anyways. Yeah, you need to go check out his his videos because they're pretty funny. Uh, this guy is not letting up on this guy. And I want to say this, uh, and I've said it before in other videos, I'm going to say it again. I'm surprised on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever that there is not one video that I've seen where somebody sees EDP in the street, sticks a camera... In his face, it says, oh, hey, ADP, oh, hey, ADP, what's going on, ADP? Nobody's done it yet. Nobody's done yet yet because he doesn't go anywhere. He stays in this house all day. He probably gets uh, Uber Eats or DoorDash five or ten times a day. And that's it. He just stays in his house and he hides. He can't go anywhere. I mean, I get recognized wherever I go. Not often, but often enough. I mean, imagine that guy. But I will say this again. I will say this again. If anybody sees this motherfucker in public, be very cautious about approaching him. And I'm very, very ser serious when I say this because I think this guy is very volatile. I think he's cuckoo. And I ain't gonna lie. He more than likely carries a gun on him at all time. He probably keeps it under his disgusting belly. He probably keeps a, a fucking three rifles under his belly. <laughs> Be careful when you approach him. If anybody's going to go to Las Vegas, go to his apartments and, you know, and, you know, listen, I'll watch all those videos because I think it's hilarious. But just, you know, be careful about going to his door and all this and that, because this guy is armed and extremely dangerous. This guy has lost everything in his life. He's lost his YouTube channel. Uh, he's lost whatever other social media stuff that he was on. He he lo he basically lost his revenue stream. He's lost his friends. I mean, this fat bastard was on uh, his his stupid channel that already got terminated, calling people out for for not being there for you in your time of need. Dude, you got caught trying to have sex with a thirteen year old girl. Do you expect your friends to accept that shit now? You know, you could have friends that say like, damn, dude, you got a problem. But dude, these, these weren't like your friend friends. These were just people on YouTube that you thought they were friends. And maybe they were friends with you. Maybe they were real genuine friends. But guess what? Uh, if, if my friend got caught trying to have sex with a 13-year-old, I wouldn't fuck with them either. Because that's trash type of shit right there. That's trash people. You know what I mean? And you're a trash individual with a problem. You know, you're you're a sex fiend. You like young girls, you know, and you're a creep. And you will always like young girls. That will never go away. That you will always have that feeling of of liking young girls. And here, here's another part that, that not many people talk about. And this sounds silly when I say this, but, you know, it's true. What 13-year-old girl who... They're, they're 13-year-old girls, they're just coming into their you know, who they are, and they're, but they're still kids, you know what I mean? But they're still, like, figuring out, okay, do I like boys? Uh, what kind of boys do I like? Oh, I think, like, what 13-year-old girl, you know, when she has, like, posters of BTS or fucking NSYNC or whatever the fuck they listen to, what what 13-year-old girl has a has a, a poster of fat black guys on their wall? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know 13-year-old girls. I don't hang out with 13-year-old girls because I'm not a perv. But is there a 13-year-old girl out there that has, like, EDP's bowel movements on um, posters on their wall. I mean, dude, what were you thinking when you were conversation? Like, what were you thinking? Were you honestly thinking in your dumbass brain, like, yeah, this girl likes me? Dude, you're a pig. 
Dude, you're gross. I listened to that whole chat. They were reading the chat verbatim. For I'm on the elliptical at the at the Planet Fitness in Lufkin, Texas. I even remember where I was at when I watched this. Dude, all that disgusting shit showing her pictures of your of your small black dick. Dude, you're a creep, dude. You are a creep. You are a nasty pervert. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're dude gross. And, and then this fucking dude has is like, yeah, she likes me. And I don't know if he if he's ever got a prostitute ever in his life. But you know, when you're that fat and r literally no woman likes you, and they don't want nothing to do with you because you smell. You're you're, you're kind of gross. You know what I mean? Like like why? Why would you think that a that a like a little kid would like fantasize about a 500? and 35 pound uh black dude off of youtube <laughs> that's that's some sick shit dude. but anyways like i said yeah this guy's lost everything this guy will never ever make money on social media ever again unless he's like you know drop shipping through amazon he ain't gonna make money with his name ever again he's never gonna get his website up i don't think this dude because he, he doesn't he doesn't really think because he's not he's not a very bright person but i don't know how how much effort that you know it takes to run a website i think you try to get a website through wix which is like that's a myspace broke 2004 ship yeah, that's not a real website bro i mean you could make it happen on wix but that's not a real website you, you need a, like a real website developer and even if you get a website dude all your trolls are just going to email the the uh, host and tell them about you. They're going to take your website down. Dude, you're screwed. You're not doing anything. Dude. You might as well, whatever money you have saved from, you know, whatever you used to do on YouTube, dude, you might as well take that money and and, and just, I don't know, invest it in your education, man. You might as well go to school, uh, try to lose weight, uh, get that gastric. Hey, dude, go to Mexico, get that gastric bypass surgery, lose all that weight, uh, get a job as a, 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 dude, go get a real job, dude. Go, go, be, go, go learn how to become a welder. Yeah, people will always make fun of you for being a you know a slob and, and, and trying to meet little kids for cupcakes or whatever a fucking horseshit excuse. But at least you know over time people will forget, but they'll still clown on your ass. They'll still call you a, a, a chomo or uh, a pedo or whatever. But hey, at least you can you know at least you can say fuck it. I you know I tried. You know go go be an electrician. Go be a, a, a welder. Uh, go get your CDL, bro. You can go get your CDL. That honestly, uh, that I think that's what you should do. You should just go get your CDL and just be a fat trucker, and then you can be even more fat. And uh, but unfortunately, you won't be able to make any money on social media, bro, because you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get terminated every time you try to come up, bro. Your, your website's not coming up, dude. There is no EDP445.com ever coming up. It's not happening. I bet you that guy doesn't even have enough money to pay a web developer to constantly continue to do the maintenance on it. First of all, you can't really charge anybody much money a month because nobody wants to listen to your bullshit anymore, dude. I mean, you fucked up, dude. You fucked up your whole life. You fucked up your whole career. You fucked everything up. That was it, man. So, yeah, you ruined a good thing, man. You had a great thing going, dude. You could have made, like, you could have had your, your little dumbass, unfunny EDP channel that only 13-year-old nerds thought you were funny. And you could have just been like, all right, I'm going to make EDP politics, EDP sports, EDP food. Uh, EDP football, dude, you could have been like EDP like times 10, not cussed on those channels, monetized all of them, and uh, you could have been making about $75,000 a month. But no, dude, you're just not a bright dude. You'd rather have sex with 13-year-olds. See, that's your problem. Uh, it is what it is, guys. You know, your, your best bet, go get your CDL, become a fat trucker, be even more fat, get to the point where you... You know what, though? I don't even think you can get into the truck, though. That's a problem, bro. Because when I seen that video of you uh, with, uh, with, uh, Alex, I do, you were way fatter than I thought. I was, I was actually very shocked at how big you were. And, uh, of course, you know, I already said this in another video, but my favorite part of the video, other than the whole damn thing, my favorite part of, of what happened was how meek you sounded, how much of a pussy you are. And cause that's, that's truly what you really are. All this tough guy bravado, you know, after you're like, you're like, Jeff Goldstein, you motherfucking bitch, you motherfucking pussy, you motherfucking, hey, Jeff Goldstein, 
Why didn't you do that when he was in your face? Dude, that dude is way bigger than you. He would have pounded you out into the sand. Bro, it's just a sad... Dude, you are the, the, the most monumental fail in YouTube history. By far. Because, dude, you could have been... I, I don't think this bastard realizes he could have been on, um, you know, because really when you when you look at him, when he talks about sports, he doesn't really he knows about football, but he's not like a football analyst. Like he doesn't really know what he's talking about. But if he would have honed his words more and learned about football more, he's popular. He, he Maybe Fox would have given you like a little bit of a, a spotlight. But you do you just you don't like. You were you, but you were gifted by the YouTube gods. How you got two million subscribers? I have no idea. You were gifted though. You were gifted, and you, you just you just ruined it. You ruined everything. But it is what it is, guys. Anyways, catch up with y'all later. Peace out.